Hello everyone, my name is Evan here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Evan City. And today, in this video, I'll be back here again in Evan City to do my world tours. Of course, last video was the town tour, which I did to celebrate one year of Evan City on YouTube. Which, of course, this is part two, and instead of doing the town, we're doing the funland. Of course, these world tours are to celebrate one year of Evan City on YouTube. This year is actually going to be five years of Evan City, just as the world cr uh, created five years ago. I don't know the month of it, though. I would say it's in maybe a couple months from now, but I'm not sure what five years uh, from, like, I don't know what month or day I created this world five years ago. But uh, I know January 25th of last year, of 2020, was when Evan City came to YouTube. So, of course... Uh, since I did take that one break off of YouTube, I will be going ahead and doing a tour. And since I'll be doing a tour in February. So this is going to be the Funland tour. Of course, last video we did the whole town. So of course we did that village there. We did all the statues and pretty much this whole area. The zoo, train station. We did Kenny's Soul Mountain. We did everything here except that Funland sign. And further down, which is going to be the Funland but honestly, yep, that's the fun light sign. Even though we're in creative, we could just fly there. I just want to go into minecart because I did go here last video and saying that um, next when we do the fun light tour, I was gonna go ahead and ride the minecart there, which this is the minecart track to go there. So that's why I have it. I <laughs> just ate a random um, pumpkin pie for no reason. Of course, last video is probably about like the 40 minute range, maybe a little late 30 range so this is how that that should be how long this video is as well and yeah this is the funland welcome welcome to evans funland you can see by the sign up here as well which i, I just want to go to yeah you see evans funland right here perfect that's sea lanterns you got a i think this is gray concrete or is it black it's gray concrete and red concrete with my name and i did change it because it used to be emerald with no like platform on the back of it but here is probably the first thing. This is the first mini game added to Evan City, uh, which was the trampoline of awesomeness. Of course, this was no videos. This is two-player only game. You pretty much go through here. Obviously, you go up this ladder. If I can even go up it, <laughs> there's two sides, red and blue, and it's a one v one. You pretty much when you go, you gotta jump up here and do some parkour. It's kind of creative, <laughs> not really. <laughs> It's not really the best parkour. I'll be honest, if you fall down, you could just get back up. And it's pretty much a race to make a cake the fastest. And if you make the uh, cake the fastest, uh, you win. And I, I named these uh, animals animal. And the reason for this was because so they don't despawn. I don't think the chicken actually has animal, though. Uh, this donkey doesn't. Uh, donkey. I think it's a mule. And I did add some trees around here as well, as you can see. You can see the trees and everything. Here is one of the updated mini games of the world, which is Cat and Mice, I think. Uh, I think. I, I don't know if I did this uh, uh, hide and seek pyramid as an update video. I, no, I don't. I don't think I did. Um, but we did play some of the updates in episode 54. But this is. We updated this World Fix Stream Part 5. This is episode 49 when we updated it. And of course, Heaven's Funland video in November of last year. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. Uh, there was no video I ever built Cat and Mice. The Cat and Mice maze was just a straight line with a whole bunch of things. It was just really ugly. But the game was still obviously fun to play. And here it is now this is Stampy's Maze. So Stampy Cat, if you haven't subscribed to his channel, make sure to go subscribe to him. You might notice a lot of these mini games are from Stampy. Like you could see some of them here and there in the distance. And this is one of them. Cat and Mice. Uh, this is one of my min favorite mini games of his. He is the little thing where you put the cheeses on. It's not. It's not. It's a little short. And I, f I actually forgot to get rid of these signs. Um, this is from November actually. These signs have been there for months, actually. Uh, here's the stand. So, of course, it's two to five players. If you're playing cat and mice and, and you're the mice or the cat, just put your stuff in the ender chest. And the cat weapons, of course, the sword. When it's night, you really just sleep down here. I mean, yeah. That's really it. It's kind of an ugly area anyways. Um, and then there's, like, a regular light blue bed here. I guess if someone wants to sleep there instead. But here's the maze. You just go through here and everything. The mice have to collect the cheeses, and the cat has to try to get them all. And if all mice get 
of course, all the five cheeses the cat loses, obviously. And I just noticed something here. I kind of just want to have this. Like this. Kind of bothers me. Alright. I think it's fine. But, okay. I think it's good. Alright, so that's cat and mice, and that is a trampoline of awesomeness. Over here is actually the first randomizer we built. We built this in the musical Minecraft episode, which is the second episode of the world. And this is all the mini games in it. You have Trampoline of Austin, this cat and mice, hide and seek pyramid. But I might have to change it where it says hide and seek pyramid so I don't mix get mixed up. Uh, Connect 4, Castle Crumble, Tree Park Horror, Musical Minecart, Sheer Fun, and Switch to Switch. Of course, some of those you, you will be we will be able to go there later. Uh, but here is actually not a mini game, and it's actually our fruit stand, which is not, which I haven't used yet. As you can see here, this is like a little area here. I don't think there's a door to ever like leave. Like if you're someone working back there, you just stuck there forever. Which I might actually add that right now, I guess, because I never added it in. Let's see here, here, perfect. There we go. We added that in, and that's the way to get in and out, I guess. You just go in here, there's a whole bunch of breads if you want to give bread to your friend or something. Open this up. Here's your bread, sir. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, really, if you're lo losing hunger and you don't have any food, obviously you would probably come here and get some more bread. Bread is the only thing it's sold here. Then yeah, that's the food stand. Over here, which I want to add another pathway here, I guess, because I just want to. And I'm going to add it here. Right at the moment, I think that's fine. Here's the MMA arena, and this isn't used at all. Uh, I obviously took MMA, mixed martial arts, for school. Like, for boxing and everything, and yeah. Uh, it was never used. I might use it for a PvP in the future, either in a future World of Extreme, or off-camera, or for video. I'm not sure. I'll see what, this, what we'll do with this in the future. But right now, this is practically useless. And yeah, it's not even a minigame, it's just here for decoration. Over here is uh, Connect Four. Yeah, let me, no, let me do, let me do this first. Here's a random smiley face that's here, and it seems like this could be used for like hide and seek, hide, playing hide and seek in the uh, in the world. You're just hiding here, and then you see you can see. Yeah, it's not used for anything, but it's I think it's a really cool thing to have here as well. Here's Connect Four. It's a two-player only mini game. And it's, again, it's Connect 4. If you're on this side, you obviously have to get 4 in a row, like 4 up, and down, or diagonal. It's really that. That's really the aim of Connect 4. And I I didn't really play it a lot. I played it in in an episode, and I played it when playing minigames video. I think those are the only times I played it, but I'm not sure. Here's Santa's Bow Fight, which I played this recently in December. Uh, for an Evan City video, like the um, I played it for Evans Funland, and I played it in the episode we built this as well. And this is a pretty small mini game, and yeah, it's pretty small, but it's actually kind of fun. I'll be honest; it doesn't have the best look, but again, it's a lot of fun. This is actually Maddox Ninja Pig's built, so that's his shout out right there. And over here, I guess we'll go to here is actually the end portal, is. Not Neon Parkour. I, I forgot to change the sign. This is not going to be Neon Parkour. It's going to be End Parkour. I'm going to build a parkour in the end. Now, this is not my next minigame. I'm actually going to build a Stampy minigame first before this one. And it, uh, my plan at the moment is to have a parkour all around the End Island. Which I'm going to go here first. I'm going to go here this just to show you. As you can see. And this broke. Um, that's great. Should I just, uh, all right, well, anyways, it's a maximum of nine players, but you get the gist of it. It's, it's an, it's a parkour. It's similar to neon parkour, of course. So obviously if you win, you go here and I'm going to do end parkour all around the end area. I'm not sure how it's going to work because right when I spawned the chest broke, so I'm probably going to have another area, probably over here, somewhere, just to have a chest full of sweatness potions. So, yeah, you, it doesn't get destroyed when you spawn in. And I would like it to go all around this end island. So this could take at least one to two videos, maybe even more. 
the end city, I'll decide what I do with that in the future. Maybe some builds and maybe another parkour map. Who knows? And yeah, this is obviously going to get cleaned up soon. Oh, when I do it. But I guess the only way to escape is actually going back here. So, yeah, that's that. There's the uh, ender egg, obviously. Now I'm back here. Seems, it seems like I'm back over there. I don't know why I went back to ender race there. But yeah, you got the gist of it. It's an It's a parkour map. That I would like to do in the end. It's that simple. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put all these swiftness potions in here because I don't need them. I guess maybe when I build it, I just have a whole bunch of swiftness potions there when I spawn in. I'm gonna do that quickly. But yeah, this should be the next mini game after the stamping mini game I wanted to build, as well. And this should be fun to do as well. It's gonna be another parkour map. Not why did I say map parkour race. And the next parkour race is tree parkour, and I mean technically if you count trampoline of Austin, this I don't really count it as one. Over here is the randomizer number two, which at the moment has Ender Race and Santa's bow fight. Hopefully this year, this would be filled out. Of course, I would like seven new mini games to be added into this randomizer. Of course, the Sampy mini game and the end parkour are definitely going to be added in here as well. So we'll end up seeing what ends up happening. Musical Minecarts, the first minigame I built for Evan City for videos. Of course, Trampoline of Austin, this was the first Evan City minigame I actually built in the world. This is the first minigame I ever built in for videos. This is Musical Minecarts, 3 6 players. We, oh, I actually only played this game with people in episode 54. I never did it for Evan's Funland. I never did it off camera. This minigame was only played in episode 54. And the same is actually going to this game, which is built in October. Like an October-themed game, I guess is what you can call it. Ender Race. And pretty much you have to take the Ender Pearls and you gotta go to every platform first until you win. It's actually a 3-6 to six player game. But since um, I was actually joined by Kenny and Joe, so it was only three of us and it would have been uneven. So we had one person on red, one person on blue, and one person looking up at the platforms. All three of us obviously got the chance to look up on the platform and see you know, who's where. And everything like that. But that was that one. This is tree parkour. Or around the trees parkour. This could go from any type of player. So I can e easily play it alone to 16 players. I think well for times like that as well. Um, but yeah, it's your basic parkour. And the reason why it's so ugly is because of my Xbox 360 world. Which long no longer exists. Because it's just... It got deleted somehow. I think it's because I tried to de delete the tutorial world or up whatever it was. And I pretty much built a parkour map with a whole bunch of trees. And there was parkour going around a whole bunch of them. And pretty much at the top would be like diamond stuff. Or you got to and like just diamond armor and stuff just as a reward. And then I was going to have it where I did that. And then pretty much you would have to go back down the parkour and try to kill anyone that was there. And then you win, but it's kind of like a PvP parkour. I thought it was a cool idea. I guess I never added it in because I didn't want to. But this is a fun mini game that I built. I was actually, I I was for some reason I was interested in me watching the video that I built this in. I don't know why, but this this definitely causes some rage. I would probably say out of all mini games in this fun land, this is the one that causes the most rage. I don't think I play this for video. I don't think, but. I, oh, no, I did. I did on um, my 300 subscribers special with Dan. I did play with him. So that was that one. Pyramid Hide and Seek, which I have played a few times in the past. It has two to nine players. I did update it a lot, of course, with some stuff here. And with rules and all this stuff, I did update it a lot more. And it's kind of missed. Oh, no, it's fine. Uh, I did update the inside. It is ugly, but then underground is where most people would go anyways because it's a lot of hiding spots under here okay this is not a hiding spot this is a dead end but i don't know my way in around here but yeah there's some there's some hiding spots here good hiding spots bad hiding spots you get the point it's a hide and seek map i, I want to build a hide and seek map this year probably one of the next five mini games uh probably one of the next three mini games after those two which i'm going to build soon but this actually got some updates i did the i played this game in episode 16 episode 29 and episode 54 i'm surprised i knew that but i did play that game in those few episodes i don't really have plans to play it again unless many people want to i don't have plans to put this as an evans funland game at the moment unless it somehow receives a big update but that's pyramid hide and seek it's that fun of a minigame i'll be honest it's really fun castle crumble 
the second mini game to come to my Funland for videos wise. This is a Stampy inspired mini game as well. It's not inspired, it's Stampy's mini game. It's just built just in my world and of course the point of it obviously you have to build like a mini sandcastle. It doesn't it doesn't have to be a mini sandcastle. It doesn't have to be you're just putting your stack of sand around and you have to you have to hide a piece of wool and then when you when you like press the button from the dispenser you would get like a certain item. I got the stick so obviously I'll break a block on the other side. You get the point of it. Um whatever you get whatever it says here I got the stick so obviously if there's another here I'll use the stick and break a piece on the other side. It's it's that, and you have to do it until someone on one side gets the other person's wool and they win, and that's the point of it. And Rubik and the Rubik's cube, a really big thing in my world. This is also Stampy's mini game, sheer fun, one of my favorites, top five favorite easily, and it's two to four players, and and you really gotta update the game with like sheep after and everything like that, and the grass and all that kind of stuff. Which yeah, some of them are here obviously. Actually, I think it's all 100% reset, so I can even play right now with someone, of course. And there's some redstone down here as well. And this is all the redstone that actually surprisingly fits in my world. And there's some games that he has that doesn't fit in my world, so I can't do it, unfortunately. There is a game in the future that I will probably build this year that is requires redstone. But in that video, I probably won't have any redstone with the game. Because, I honestly, I don't even think it needs redstone, to be honest. Over here is Bruff Ball, and I built this in October. The video views didn't really do that good, but uh, like when I'm recording this, it didn't do that good. But Bruff Ball, two to six players. It's actually a fun mini game as well. You pretty much would have to take like a food from here, and if I can go up here, you would play this with like two to six players, I think it was, or three to six. You would jump down here and have to try to get people off. It's a stamping mini game. That's really that. And it's it's a fun mini game. I'll be honest, it's really fun. The other two mini games right here are mini games that actually don't even work in my Funland. I mean, besides Water Rush, but Water Rush is not even finished yet. This is Bingo. And this probably has the best design in my world. It has to be one of the best. This is Stampy's build, but it wasn't in his Funland. This was actually in his town as well, and I don't know why that's like that. I don't know, but yeah, you can see the redstone doesn't work, unfortunately. So. That's how the redstone is. It just it sucks. It doesn't work, unfortunately. Over here is switch to switch, which I'm guessing the redstone doesn't work for this one either. Obviously, when you flick this down, the minecart would go. It, it would stop randomly somewhere. I, it stopped randomly. I forgot where. But sometimes it would drop and it wouldn't even cut down at all. And I think it would keep going around and people would have to put up sand with their shovels. And it depends. Like, the minecart just goes all around the place, and... Yeah, you can see, it just stops randomly right there. Which is the problem with it. So, yeah, okay, I was right. So, yeah, you can see the minecart just randomly stops, unfortunately. So, that's why it just doesn't work. And this is my most popular Evan City video. Alright, this is pr this is my most popular one. Um... This actually got like in the 100 views. I got 11 in the comment section from Danny's channel, which is pretty cool. Shout out to him, obviously. Uh, but yeah, this is probably a famous minigame for that reason. Just doesn't work, unfortunately. And then over here is Water Rush, which actually isn't finished yet. And that was because the, um, the redstone has to go a certain deep down. I did get some help, but I have to see what I do within the future if I wanted to finish building it or not. But yeah, you could see it's pretty cluttered and everything like that. So hopefully in the future I'll finish it and I'll do some type of video for it. But that's Water Rush. It's it's nothing, nothing. Yeah, it just it doesn't work. But over here is Tool Trade. This is four players. This is Stamping's mini game. I have a lot of Stamping mini games. I just realized that. <laughs> like this part of the Funland has a lot of them. Those two were it. Water Rush was it. Like most of these are Stampy mini games as well. Uh, this is snow. Uh, I just said snowball fight. This is tool trade, and pretty much the aim of the game, where you would have four players, you had to take, like I think like four tools and everything like that. I'll take some of them out. And okay, I pr <laughs> this is nice. I got I got two gold axes and two iron axes. 
I forgot the rules, which is why I had them written down. If you have to get the same tool with either wood, stone, gold, or iron, or go get four different tools with the same rarity, you win. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get that. But that that's how you win, I guess? I, I always forgot how you win this game, but... Yeah, I guess that's how you win. A tool trade. And I haven't played this yet. I would like to do this with either a playing minigames video or an Evans Funline video in the future. But at the moment, this has never been played. This is randomizer number three, uh, last randomizer in the world. Which is full, it has flower power, whale for time, tool trade, straight rider, bingo, arena, capture the wool, bruff ball, and snowball fight. That's where all of them are. And yet, that's actually all three randomizers, I just realized that. Back here is snowball fight. This is also Manix and Ninja Pig's uh, minigame, so shout out to him. Uh, this is actually different than what he had. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain why I'm filling up the chest, but it's different because he used to have snowballs with sharpness five, and of course in Bedrock you can't have um, snowballs with sharpness five on them or anything like that, unfortunately. So that's how that's why it doesn't work. So instead of well, I still have the snowballs in it, but instead of sharpness five and just snowballs, I have wooden axes as well, and you you can actually um. What's, what's it called? You can actually, when you use a snowball, you can actually put people out of the game, which is how you can also win as well. I put some parkour here, and there's some little things under here just to go underground. But the axes are, are axes are good. I did win this game in Evans Funland as well, uh, which is pretty cool. And then you have, uh, <laughs> you got Bob right here, <laughs> the zombie. That's pretty cool. Over here is another Stampy minigame, which is Flower Power. This is two to four players, I believe, and... Yeah, the problem with this game, redstone doesn't work, and yeah, you can see that some of the blocks are just above here. It it looks ugly, but it's probably one of the best minigames in this world, I'll be honest. And your main objective is, since this is the red side, you have to collect all the red flowers, and you got to bring them to your side, and obviously when you do that, you have to light up these, and then you would win. You can steal the other person's flowers so you don't get them. It's a PvP type game as well, which is probably one of the best things about it. And over here, you would obviously put your loot in the chests. And I have played this a few times. I played this in the Evan City episode, and I played this in both playing mini games video, except the new one, of course. Over here is Capture the Wool, which is I think it's uh what is this? Four to twelve players. All right, this is four to twelve players. Uh, I have played this for an Evans Funland video. It's actually a really fun mini game, I'll be honest. It's a really fun game, as well. And this is from Poison Gaming YT's uh mini game. And there's some here. There's some things here we could take some cover, but obviously there's still some holes here where people can shoot arrows through you. And it's you pretty much have to. Um, it's like capture the flag, but instead of a flag or banner, it's with a wool. And you would have to have like a leather helmet. You would have uh, shears and then a bow and arrow. I kind of want to build the exact same thing in the future. But instead of wool, it's banners and it's a different type of color for each side. That's how I, that's how I want it to be. So hopefully we'll be build that in the future. Over here is the arena. Uh, this is for my Minecraft PvP series. I haven't played in this arena for an Evan City video. I don't plan to. This is just for the PvP series. It is in my randomizer though. And obviously I do have to I do have to um, upgrade the chests and everything. I gotta edit it before my next PvP video. Obviously, yeah, you can see it does need some changing in the chests. But it's my arena I used for that series. And it's all the way at the end of the funland. And I might extend the funland down here. I'm not sure if I will. I just wanted to go on the sides at least, so it's more in those directions instead of just straight down obviously and then the last two mini games this one's straight a rider which is two to four players as well and i just ate some cake um this pretty much you would have wooden swords i believe yeah and you would have to go on these straighters and you would pretty much battle on them and i did add something with all the trees i did add the crimson trees and the warp trees i think it would be a really cool decoration just to have them around here because it fits well in the nether as well and over here, the last minigame... Oh, this is actually from Manix Ninja Pig's minigame. And over here, the last minigame of the Funland, I believe, is Whale of a Time. 
this is definitely one of my favorites. This two to sixteen players. It's creative. It's creative only because it doesn't work in survival. And I just realized I need to fix this TNT. But the aim of the game is pretty much the dispenser. If you saw it before, um, the dispenser is used. Uh, it shoots out a random five pieces of wool, and you pretty much whatever you get. I'll do it. I'll do it now. So I get what do I get? I get black. So since I got black wool, now I gotta go ahead and get. I gotta land in the black hoop. So if I go ahead and if I can move, if I can press the button. Thank you. Um, if I go ahead and bounce here, and I launch up into the sky, I gotta land. <laughs> we went so high up. Um, we gotta land in the black hoop. If I do it, it's good. I didn't. I okay. I landed. I landed right there. But you get the point of it. You gotta land in the hoops. If you don't land in it, um, you're out. And it's only five colors. It is a Stampy mini game, so it's exactly how his, how Stampy's is. <clears throat> if I end up adding like um. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat, my throat's kind of hurting. Uh, I might end up adding in the future like different colors, so it's not just five random colors. I don't know. That's something I might do, but it, I'm not, I'm not gonna guarantee it. But yeah, that's actually every single Funland game, or not game. I mean, there's randomizers and there's the uh, food stand and there's the regular Funland sign. But yeah, that is the entire Funland tour. And yeah, next video, I'll probably do another Funland video as well. So yeah, if you guys end up enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like. This is, of course, the Funland tour to celebrate one year of Evan City on YouTube. And yeah, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here. And I just ran, in, I ran into the sign. What am I doing? And yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. God bless. And I'll see... Why? Oh my gosh. I can't land on this sign. I want to do an outro on this sign. All right. You know what? Hope you guys have a good video. God bless. Have a nice day. I'll see you guys in the next Evan City video. Peace out.